so we saw the Mortal Kombat movie. Um, and uh, for anyone questioning how this is myth related, I mean, Raiden is based Raiden. on the Japanese god Raijin, yeah. and you know they they have gods in these movies. They have elder uh, these movies so in the games things. and the elder gods, and yeah, a lot of stuff like that. And mainly Raiden, but shut up i wanted to review this <laughs> you know i think you can have some uh, examples of it being mythological there are creatures with four arms yeah. kind of like how the heck of have 100 <laughs> hands a little bit yeah there's um a, yeah but like like even just alone like raiden and fujin are based on raijin and fujin and like uh, shinnok is i think based on shenong and you know there's unfortunately a, there's a though fujin isn't in this film <laughs> fujin is not in this film there is a small easter egg for kotal khan who yes, is based Kodal on Ka. an aztec god named huitzilpochtli so yeah um so yeah this uh, this movie uh i had fun with this movie uh I, there's I did too. people who are saying there's not enough fighting in the film i don't know what you're talking about there Ooh. Are, yeah there's there plenty of fighting is a decent amount of okay. fighting in this film and uh i'm very glad this movie is rated r like yeah um, because you know the old mortal Kombat film i think is enjoyable enough but like it is all held back a little by its pg-13 rating and i'm sure even the director wasn't happy about that mm. based on what i've heard and yeah, Mortal Kombat has always been famous for really pushing the boundaries of what video games were allowed to do. Can I just say <clears> one <throat> thing though? So when we were watching the movie, I said it didn't need to be rated R. When I say that, I don't mean that it didn't need the guts and gore of rated R. I think the rated R rating is a problem because we should really come up with a rating between PG-13 and R because it's a 16 year old could watch this and it I'd be like, um, yeah, that's not... I guess, but it was pretty gory. It was 16-year-olds pretty... can watch R-rated films if an adult is with them. Yeah, yeah but I don't so. think as most 16-year-olds would need an adult for this film, personally. Well, this film I, mm. is very r-rated for like it's not like it's got the language for an r rating and it's got the like blood and guts and yeah but when you were 16 rating. didn't you when i was nine i was playing mortal kombat <laughs> like, what i mean yeah. is like just this is a not necessarily a part of the film but more about films in general but with the rated r it's like it makes it so some parents are like oh my kids shouldn't see this but at 16 i was hearing people say much worse stuff than Dude, they said in this 16 film 16 year olds are gonna see it, it yeah 16s are yeah. gonna see yeah, exactly that's Six, why honestly we there are a rating. lot of 16 year olds who can watch almost any rated r yeah and that's why we should have I another don't, rating. i don't think we need another rating personally because i think they're gonna see it anyway and if they have good parents like who on who talk to them about this stuff then yeah mo chances are a lot of the parents will be like all right i'll take you to it and we can watch it i, like, I guess you're right but my point was that the gore in this is not that bad it's not saw five where well, i was what, literally what, going you remember nitaro what happens to i was her? just gonna uh, say which one is that again <laughs> the flying one I still that you that remember didn't make what me... Kung Lao does. Yeah, but <laughs> if you've seen any of no, the games, no, I I know, but there are people who I think would find that. Disturbing. Yeah, and I like, guess it's it's real interesting with people, the amount like, of live action of mean. gore in this. Like that saw makes me way more uncomfortable. Well, yeah, it's because saw grounds it more in reality. It's so True, much more disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Like with the fishing, the thing out of someone's Ah, head. okay, we're not here to talk about saw. Yeah, we're talking <laughs> anyway. about Mortal Kombat. Yeah, um, so there's a lot in this movie I appreciated, and there are some things in this movie that ticked me off a little bit i think yeah. that the one of the main things that annoyed me about this film was its choice of main character okay i'm just gonna and, say this so people know andrew how big of a moral yeah i was fan? literally about to say and that's probably partially because i am a gigantic mortal mm -hmm. kombat fan i know every character i've played every game i've owned a lot of the games like and i've loved so many of them like i love shaolin monks armageddon mk9 mkx is good but not as good as nine i hated mk11 for reasons that could fill a whole nother video yeah. but, um, if you want that video comment down below <laughs> yeah. but i love mortal kombat so much and so that's why one thing that irks me about mortal kombat which they did a little bit of in x and stuff and what they do in this film is instead of using an already uh, an already loved character from the games of which there are so many as the main character they introduce a new character for the main character and i I would have rather they didn't. I was a little more open to the idea when I saw exactly what they were doing with him. I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. But he was kind of bland. He's got a family that there was no reason to have in the film. Um, Just something yeah. he was fighting His for. His family, right? yeah. like, keeps getting inserted into the plot 
in ways they didn't need to be, especially the last time they're inserted. Oh, in. You remember that there was yeah. no reason for them to be there. Kind of, but we can get to that later. Yeah, we'll get to that. I want to follow up to that. Claire, how big of a Mortal Kombat fan are you? I, I know there's fighting in it. <laughs> yeah, that. And then, I know that they fight to the death to protect the earth, their worlds, and that's because you told me that. Yeah, <laughs> two weeks. Ago. And I'm in the middle. I've played three Mortal Kombat games, and I liked all of them. Okay. They're not Mike. So we literally have extreme fan. This is how it was with um. This is with mythology in general. Yeah. Well, it, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. We have a s- extreme fan. Literally knows everything. This reminds to know. me of our blood of Zeus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Someone who knows Hardly almost anything. nothing, if not nothing, I mean, and then casual. me. Yeah. I'm very in the middle, I and I. Th- so I think I'm we've got a good like. I'm less than casual. Like, this is, yeah. <laughs> I like with with mythology. I'm more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. You yeah. know nothing. He knows everything. I know. A little bit. Like, you know, is it weird that I think some of the best action in the movie was the first 10 minutes? Oh, well, that's one of the best parts of the yeah, movie. Yeah, honestly. I thought that was the highlight of the film. Yeah, it is, um, and um, the reviewer, Chris Stuckman, I agree. He's like, they kind of pulled a Godzilla, the first Godzilla, where like the more interesting character wasn't in the film that much. And they uh, yeah, switched the mo- to someone the else. The most interesting character was not in was barely in the film. The other yeah. characters are okay though. Like they're not terrible or anything. I, I no. don't think the main character is very good, but one ca- character who carries the whole damn film. I was not Kano. expecting Kano is hilarious. Yeah. He's got so much charisma. This actor is chewing on the whole film. Yeah, <laughs> and, he definitely brings the, the humor where Johnny Walker would have. From it, what I uh, Johnny Cage. Sorry. Johnny Walker, that's a different show. <laughs> sorry, you got the Johnny part right. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Johnny Cage is in the film, which irks me heavily, <laughs> but then it, but one thing that's giving me a little bit of peace with it is Johnny Cage is always the comic relief, mm-hmm. and Kano fills that role so well that I I guess technically Johnny Cage wasn't all that needed because Kano fills that role perfectly he is hilarious he is charismatic he is fun he's relatable he's he's basically both the comic relief and the straight man in this movie i agree he's honestly in my opinion he's a way better segue for the audience into this world than the main character is i have to say as the medium fan i agree with the main character thing what about you claire do you what how did you feel about the main character yeah Yeah, the main character's name is I didn't I expect that. that. We were just talking about the main character. I don't find him charismatic. Yes, I don't think so. Yeah, Claire, he was hot. That was, that was <laughs> that's a good, the most he the, the best oh, yeah. thing that's been said about him. I've heard the actor is really great. Good for him. Yeah, here's he's doing a good his job. Fault. It's not his yeah, fault. He just didn't have anything to work with. The main character's name is Cole. And here's yeah. the I'm thing. not interested in Cole. Yeah, here's the three things I have to say <laughs> yeah. about this. is The writing for all except for just his character and the people connected him is pretty decent, especially for a Mortal Kombat movie. The acting that everybody does in this film is really good, and thankfully none of it is. Unfortunately, you will die. Will die. It's too bad. You, you will, will die. die. I've never seen that would have made that. the movie a little better. <laughs> uh, cheesier. <laughs> Yo, you know what I want as a reference to that in the next film? I want us to see a clip from one of Johnny Cage's terrible <gasps> movies, and, and I want to see doing someone doing that, and they're like, yeah, and they're just like, this. these are the movies you do? And he's like, you know what? It was an awkward time. <laughs> <laughs> they should have done that in the movie. I, I, and then, well, I, it it, it should open movie. with Johnny in a fight, and then the villain comes and goes, too bad you will die and then we just hear a cut and they're like what was that sheila what was that the, the audience would be in an uproar of just laughter that would be the greatest yeah, that would be thing. Great. that's i uh, take note nether realm i just gave you the perfect setup for a um, joke and you're gonna demand um, <laughs> money after that joke but i also joking. i agree with the whole like the first few minutes that is i i wouldn't say the best part of the film for me but it definitely was, in a sense, the best part. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I have no idea what you mean <laughs> right it now. It was the best part. Oh, you part, mean it's it objectively wasn't. the best well, part, like, but not necessarily your favorite. When I think Is about that what it, you're like, <laughs> more or less, like, yeah. it, at, if I watched, if I watched a whole film that was like that intensity, I would have been like, "This is a much better film than it is." Yeah, it would have been. But some it's not the part I had the most fun. Dragon shit. So wait, you wanted me to be like how it was in the beginning, or not? Yes, I do. Okay. But I'm yeah. glad with what we got. I'm not yeah. like, okay, oh, so he's so happy with what we got, but he he's acknowledging that that was the highlight of the film. Um, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. started off so strong like that, and then 
It's yeah. still good, though. Like, like, Wilda was watching know. it with us, and she was really sad with some of the sad moments. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, oh. Yeah. yeah, and then after that, we, uh, yeah, we get Cole, and he's, like, he's here's hot. one weird thing about this film. Cole is supposed to be the big, great fighter. He can't even win a $200 cage match in, like, a ring. I mean, we they yeah, didn't really establish about? how good of a fighter he was. Yeah. And later, he gets a kind of power, which I'm not going to spoil here. But it's... I, I, Okay, I'll have to talk about that in spoilers. Here's but, what yeah. I thought from that first part is I thought he was throwing fights. Yeah, here's what. Yeah, that's what I thought is that he was purposely throwing the fights for two hundred. Yeah. That's one. Uh, that idea crossed my mind later, too. But then see... later, like, like, yeah, like Johnny or not Johnny. Uh, Jackson. Br Jax is in the movie and he's cool. Jax tells him, you know, you could have won that fight if you if you could learn to control the ring, and then that kind of plays in later when they say we need to control the fight and everything. Well, there's mm -hmm. that, but also later they say like. His body isn't able to, uh, he can't fight as well as he used to anymore. Okay. So it makes it really confusing. Uh, like, what exactly uh, is yeah, the Why is he such a great you know, fighter? I, something I interesting is you kind of could have cut Cole out of the movie and you yeah. wouldn't have missed much. You wouldn't have. Yeah, you really wouldn't have. Yeah. He, he is not, I kind of forgot he was there sometimes while Sonya and Kano are talking. They're way more interesting. You could have had, honestly, the, you could have had this be Jax and Sonya's movie. You know, honestly, like, Jax and Sonya are, are already humans who can yeah. be a Segue mm. into this world, and yeah. Kano does it so well. Kano, by the way, another thing is uh, Kano kind of benefits from the R rating in some ways because, oh, like, yeah. you know, like there's scenes where he's just saying "fuck," what the fuck, and like you know, if there's a character where there's a scene where a character puts their arm on him and goes "the fuck," and that made me laugh. So it would have been as laugh. good if he had gone "what the hell are you doing" or something like yeah, that. that. The was fuck, such really, a just so beautifully. If, yeah. if, like you said, yeah, it, it felt so genuine. Yeah, it like, felt I, like so real. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if he improvised that. Or yeah. like say something's Kano, different than what was in the script. Kano is like fifty percent of the reason I want to rewatch this film. The uh, other fifty yeah. percent is just to see some of those fight scenes. Yeah, yeah I like. The, I will lovely. say I thought the choreography was really. Someone else, com I won't say. Well, yeah, I won't say who, but it's like someone, a reviewer I watched said that there was too many cuts in the fighting, and I disagree. I could. I thought everything I, I was, was able happening. to follow the fighting. I know well. what yeah. shitty fighting looks like in movies, and that wasn't yeah. it. This, this had some really good fighting. Yeah. It's got yeah. also it's got fatalities, which are really cool. Yeah. I was I expecting they were well done. Avengers Two: Age of Ultron fighting no, when I heard that. Yeah, because it totally Avengers wasn't. Eight Two: Age of Ultron literally has like someone goes to punch and then you cut halfway through and another person's going to punch and then it cuts and then another person's going to kick and they did not have do that. Have you ever that. seen the infamous... <laughs> oh, have you ever yeah. seen I the love Supernatural, but they do that in that show too. ...scene from Taken 3 where climbing over a fence takes 14 <laughs> cuts? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think yeah. I've seen that too. We gotta take a look at that after to this. To be fair, Liam Neeson's like 60. It's, <laughs> but yeah, I but know. it doesn't take him 14 I minutes to, <laughs> to, get to climb I over a fucking fence. <laughs> oh my god, how many times... How many angles can we do with his foot going over the face oh my god that was beautiful um yeah. anyway uh yeah but this movie i thought the action was very good yeah. and there's a lot of fan service here there's like oh, yeah. they say shit like test your might flawless victory fatality kano finish wins. him kano wins. kano like I'm, okay i'm not gonna spoil but there are a couple characters who use their exact fatalities from the game yeah but sadly we don't get sonya's kiss of death <laughs> we I'm, saw some of them coming we, were like, we started going oh yeah they we were like I know what he's gonna do! And then Wilda and Claire were just like, what? And then yeah. you saw it and you were like, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. I do wish that her kiss of death was in it, but that would have been kind of weird for her yeah. human character. Wait, did she even get a thing? I don't she remember. she did uh, kill somebody, but not like in a fatality way. Yeah, but didn't she? You supposed to get what? Did, okay, what is it called in the oh, film? Well, uh, technically, she killed two characters. We'll say it in but... spoilers. Okay, sure. Yeah. But I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, you mean a you mean an Arcana? Yeah. Well, we're saying it now. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. That's I not a spoiler. Arcana. You don't it's know what that really is. A no. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to start talking about what. We won't start talking about that until spoilers. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Um, I thought overall, though, the film was a lot of fun, high energy, good yeah. action, good acting. Some of the writing was a little eh, and the main character was unnecessary. Yeah, so things I appreciated. I loved all the fan service. There are actually some Mortal Kombat characters in this movie I was not expecting to see. I some know, of the right? villains. Like, I, I was really surprised. Or Reptile. Um, well, I, I knew the one you were talking about, but because I saw the, I saw a bit of it in the trailer ah. and I was like, ah, I know who that is. But there are, um, at least three villains I was not, I did not know were going to be in the film. Mm, okay. Um, uh, 
Yeah, and I loved all the fan service. Really liked the action. The movie is pretty well cast. Um, yeah. With one character, but w except for Ooh. one that I'm not totally sure about, but maybe it's just because he didn't get enough time to shine. The guy playing Shang Tsung. Oh, which one is that again? The, the main villain. The, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. The right. main villain, the wizard, who says, your soul is mine. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't find him very intimidating. or mm. and, and and that I'm mainly saying that because in the original Mortal Kombat movie, they got a great actor to play him, and he was intimidating, mm. and he had a lot of personality to him. The one in this movie felt a little minimalist. Um, like I, I wasn't like getting much from him. Villain guy. Maybe he needed more scenes. Like, maybe. I'm, it, maybe it would have been possible for the actor to pull it off really well. But I just I didn't get that from this movie. But I didn't hate him. He wasn't cringy or terrible yeah. or anything. I just, didn't, just didn't feel like do, yeah. he was reaching that level. I would hope that character would reach. <laughs> Yeah, um, I kind of agree. Here's the thing. I think it was because they spent so much of the film focusing on the main character and they didn't want it to seem like it was impossible for him. So when the villains show up and it's not impossible for him, the, the guy who's honestly weaker than everybody else in this film. And then there's a couple other things. Like one, one thing really irked me as a fan is one of the villain characters was, in my opinion done very dirty in this film and completely mm. wasted mm. like and i'll oh. get into that in spoilers yeah. and another thing is um there was an event that i was hope i was hoping would play out in I a certain one, way yeah. you know what i'm talking and this bothered wilda too um and it just it didn't play out that way and it was very strange especially with the whole setup of this movie yeah. and how the games are oh, really? Um, and I'll get into that I in think. spoilers, I think too. We, I think all three of us agree with what you're <laughs> no, saying. I think actually. I know what you're talking about. Then yeah. I've got tiny little nitpicks. You all know Scorpion's in the film. I, I, this, I, I'm this. i curious what you guys think. I didn't like Scorpion's outfit in this movie. Um, It was okay. With the face, thing on his face, you mean? Yeah, the, the whole outfit. It was very bulky with this hood and, like... Yeah. It doesn't look like the games is one of the things. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, it probably sounds like a huge nitpick, but Sub-Zero looks perfect. He looks exactly like he does in the games. So what happened with Scorpion? That's yeah. what I don't get. Yeah, I don't know. I liked, like, I liked, honestly, Scorpion's look better when he was, you know, in the beginning. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> Luke King, Kung Lao, so many of them look just like they do in the games. So the Scorpion looked kind of what he looks like. He looked more like, um, uh, what's it called? Um, he looked like a cosplay. Of someone as Scorpion. I could see it a little bit. Which but, isn't good for a full. But movie, personally, but yeah, I would have liked him to have a you know a tighter, more sharp out, literally sharp. I know that's what how you he mean. Is in the game. Yeah, like I, I, Like I, I would have liked something a lot closer to the games because I felt like it would have made the combat feel more tight, also and everything. I think it might have been for the actor because Maybe. he's a little bit older and possibly. I like the actor. Oh yeah, the actor him. he did a great, great job, honestly, and he has oh, the look mm -hmm. like him personally. He has. The look uh and uh there was something else i wanted to bring up and now i'm having trouble remembering it um was there anything else you wanted to talk about before we get um, spoilers i wanted to say so how do i explain this without spoiling it the characters are all real fun oh, and mostly well acted and I don't know why they felt a need to have this main character because he was kind of dull. He was weaker than literally everybody else in the film yeah, by the way it was honestly. written. <laughs> and you didn't need him. You could have had Sonya and Jax be the main characters. They really could have. If, Sonya and Jax and they're bringing Kano and they go, you could just take Cole out yeah, of that. If they were no, just I... doing it for um, political reasons, I won't say exactly what, but if they were doing it for that, there are literally three or four or five other characters who fit that role and are way more entertaining There's... in the film. Yeah, and I you don't could understand the point of him them. making up a whole new character. What was the, at, the you, purpose of if that? If you play Mortal Kombat Armageddon, you see they have so many characters. Right. The yeah. only reason Pick I can one. <laughs> There's only one reason I can think of to add this yeah. character, and it's because some guy, the director or the writer, was like, "I want to put in my own OC, you know, I my think, original I, character." I think I Maybe. heard the director. One of the things he was saying, and this is a weird thing to hear because the director is apparently a big fan. Which is yeah. cool, but he apparently wanted to make a Mortal Kombat for like a new generation, bringing uh, a new yeah, generation yeah. of fans, and it's like, 
Here's the oh, thing, but, dude. Uh, this this is Mortal Kombat the movie. Who do you think is gonna watch yeah, it? The, the fans are gonna go watch it. Who love and the maybe game. some new people will watch it, but yeah. you're not gonna I don't think you're gonna learn more people by making it by, by, making by putting in character. things that in my opinion make it a little worse. Yeah, I, mean, I hate it when directors do I that. I don't think that. it makes it worse, but it just it makes it. It could have been better, different. Though. Yeah, is but my like thing. different and not in a better way. Yeah, that's not in a, a well. That's the thing. It's not yeah. better, but it, I don't think it's worse. It's just if you want to just... bring in new people for this thing, you don't need new characters. You just need a new way to show it. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, yeah. I agree. You should. Yeah, you got to take care of the fans, man. Like if you're gonna and do he did a in film every other like way. this, he would, and yeah, there, you. He tried to in a yeah. lot of ways. So I, I'm not like shitting on him. Right. I'm just saying I think some of your Same. some of his like ideas in, ideas and intentions were a little like he had the wrong idea in some ways. Yeah. Yeah. Um the other thing I didn't like, I didn't like Molina's design. Uh um, Molina looks nothing like Molina. Yeah. Molina's the one with the uh, Yeah, I thought like, so. Like like her mouth is fine, but uh, her look, her hair, her outfit. Her, Melina has a purple outfit. She this, looks too human. Yeah, one, she looks too human. Mm. She, like, I mean, she's she doesn't look Asian. I don't know what that was about. Um, and also on, but that's not a huge deal. But mainly it was her outfit for me. Like, Melina wears this bright purple, mm. like, exotic they, outfit. Yeah. Like, that's one of the main things about her. She's very exotic. She's very erotic also. That, uh, but yeah. even if you're not going to do that like at least give her that like exotic standout look that melina always has. also melina has a personality in the game she has oh, so much personality yeah did they straight up do what they did with um wolverine uh the uh deadpool in the wolverine movie no oh, the, the yes. first it's not as well, bad as that like, melina, she doesn't him. like not talk at all she has like two lines in this yeah. and, and they're not and they're like boring. like preppy flamboyant oh, interesting she lines like, like in the, she, melina's uh like like i said she's very erotic so she's got a lot of personality she's sometimes she's very seductive but she's one thing is name. she's very passionate she like talks a lot she's very how dare you talk to me like that that kind of so person the opposite also. of what she was in this and this basically. she's just like I am evil. Yeah, if they didn't want to make her her outfit like seductive, they still could have paid homage yeah, to the original make it look. Purple. Yeah, she exactly. doesn't even have a veil in this. She has oh, a yeah, veil. Yeah, to hide the mouth thing. Uh, you know, if you want to save so on money, cooler. cover it with the veil throughout most of the film, and then have someone rip it off in the then final fight. Then it's more fight. shocking when you just see it. It's like it's actually, oh, it's that's actually weird. not a. It, you know those um. Uh, those kind of Egyptian old saying. face yeah, masks. It's like, more like that. Yeah. Yeah, but, but still. Kind of yeah, you know, I know what you mean. That. Yeah. Um, I think we should just get into spoilers now. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna let's give the movie a rating out of ten. I still think this movie's good. I think I would give this a seven. Um, thinking back on it, probably a seven. Yeah. yeah. Like really, it's really good. It's not super amazing, but they, there's so much potential. They mm -hmm. could easily just build on a couple of things. Focus, work on a bit of some story stuff and then I think it would be so much better. Yeah, entertaining, good comedy, good action, you? but some problems. Mm, I'm gonna have to give it a six. Okay. Ah, Again, okay. still good. Like I still, still above liked average, it. But, you know. I think I would have given a seven if I actually like, you know, played the games. I maybe would have mm -hmm. gotten yeah, more all enjoyment those out of it. Jokes and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but I still um, thought like six is a solid no, good rating. I think mm -hmm. all three of us agree. To me, because it's this, an average rating. Yeah, right? yeah. This yeah. series has what I would say potential. Yeah, this was yeah. this movie was fun, but uh, something Wilda and I agreed on. We were talking about it a little later. We were like, you know, like she said, you know, I had a good time with the movie, but by the end of it, I didn't feel as pumped as I did after I saw yeah, Godzilla versus sure. Kong. That's what she said, and I was like, you know what, you're right. Yeah, I feel the same way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. another thing that brings mm -hmm. it down for me is right after I watched it, I kind of forgot about it, like the next day. Like I wasn't thinking about it after. Oh mm. yeah, That's like Godzilla, how I felt. Godzilla it didn't versus stay Kong. with you. It did we, stay with me. Yeah. yeah, all three of us were definitely talking about it. Like, oh the yeah, next we few were days for we Godzilla were all versus... over Godzilla versus yeah. Kong. This one, it's um, more like it's this good. is uh, yeah. fun. Could have been better. But That's why it's I give it a good. seven because it's. I I still really want to see a sequel. Yeah, make a sequel. Well, please. yeah, because they. Well, like, let's go into spoilers, I guess. I'm yeah, please, please just right. please just learn from the things that were weak and make them better. Make a sequel. I liked this movie. I, I could see myself I watching want, it again. Yeah, I want to see a sequel. Yeah, like, right. I will I want. To I'm just gonna that. say spoilers in. Okay. Five, four, Why? three, <laughs> two, one. Okay. Um. So we now we're in spoilers. Hand around. Uh -huh. Okay, so I, I maybe I shouldn't cut to the end. 
I was gonna cut Johnny to the end Cage about, is gonna be in the sequel. Yeah, they yeah. tease <laughs> Johnny Cage for the sequel. Yeah. Which, if they even do it, who knows? Because who knows what's gonna I make love enough how, money. Like in that and scene, that. they're like, "We need to find more warriors. I know where to look." And I was like, "It's Johnny Cage. It's Johnny Cage." And then you're sitting there, oh, "I'm going somewhere. Where are you going?" I'm like, "He's going to Hollywood." He's like, "I'm going to Hollywood." Yeah, that's... And I'm like, "For Johnny Cage." And they're like, "What's there?" And I go, "Johnny Cage." And he goes, "It's more about who's there, Johnny Cage." I'm just the whole scene. Yeah. Where it's Johnny Cage. You're talking, and then they cut over Johnny Cage. I'm like, no! No! <laughs> no! No! Shit! How? Oh, how? I, I am amazed. Yeah. yeah. I was, just yeah. hope that feel, there actually is a sequel for us like to see him. Phoebe and Friends. That is brand new information. That is brand new yeah, yeah. information. <laughs> yeah. Her delivery. That was a great. Uh, yeah, that was pretty obvious, but I'm glad we're getting Johnny Cage. So, like, I what they do so. with Cole in this they film is people. they make him the descendant of Scorpion. Which is cool. Which is, uh, when I saw that, I was like, all right. I called that Let's shit. see what you do with it. It, it was pointless, kind of. Yeah, it was kind of pointless. Places. Like, they tried to kind of tie it in with, at the end, Scorpion appears. Like, but did Scorpion appear to save him or just to fight Sub-Zero? Because he literally said, I came back from hell to kill you. You don't need Cole. Cole is not needed as a motivation. Yeah. Scorpion has motivation to kill Sub-Zero already. And, yeah. like... You know, I, the only thing that ever came from it was at the end, like Scorpion just said, "Ah, you continue my my fan, lineage." My lineage. Yeah. That's all he said. That's it's like. Okay, yeah, I didn't understand. Fine, it I was kind of it. out of nowhere that he just came back from hell. He's like, "I came out of hell to fight you." He's like, oh, they were okay. Kind of, and it's just Scorpion's in the beginning, and then there. Yeah. He's not in any other part except of the film, for like, except for like flashbacks. Cole having the occasional dream where Whatever Scorpion's just looking at his spear in, in hell. In hell. Which they, that wasn't even they like, don't was it a dream sequence? They don't explain why Scorpion went to hell, which in the games yeah. the reason is because he made a deal with Quan Chi to get his revenge. Mm. Like they oh. if you see it makes sense, right? Because why would he go to hell? He wasn't a bad person. Yeah, I was like in say. this movie it makes no sense. They don't explain <laughs> like, Now technically like, you know, there's just stuff they haven't shown us, but show us. That's important. <laughs> like yeah. yeah, show. Don't tell. Yeah, honestly. Um, but they didn't tell either. He was like, yeah. I would have liked to better <laughs> yeah, if instead of Cole being in the movie, we occasionally would just get flashes over to what Scorpion is doing in the Nether Realm to properly build up his character. You know, maybe show him mm. learning to command the Hellfire. Show maybe. him, like, doing... You know, have a good mirror, I think, would have been good. Like, while Liu Kang and Kung Lao are training our main characters. Mm -hmm. Also show Scorpion's training in the Nether Realm, and, like, it's like a nightmare in there. It's brutal. Ooh, like, yeah. that would have been, I think, good, and play into the R rating more. I think the one reason <laughs> that they didn't probably didn't want to do that is to save on their CGI budget, because you got to do flames. Yeah. yeah. Um, the thing that I think they could have done instead is, like, had them be like, uh, had them be like we can't beat Sub-Zero. There's one man who's beaten him before. Mm. And then uh, they're trying to summon Scorpion. Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, that would be a cool idea. Yeah. Summon him and very with, mortal like, combat. In Bring it into the modern world. Just have him appear at the end and be like, "I'm gonna yeah. fight you now." Yeah, uh, it just. Don't worry, oh, did you? I, know, I don't know if you noticed this, but I noticed this. They changed the uh, in in the trailer. They had him say, "Get over here," and it was yeah. in this. It was in a way that wasn't as tough as in the games. They changed it in the movie. They made it a little tougher. Yeah, I Because I think that. they were addressing feedback. Good. So it's good to know they, they listen to us. That's very nice. Yeah. Um, they listen. Yeah. yeah. They realize uh, people like it when you do that. Yeah, like, but Scorpion like literally comes out of nowhere at the end. No buildup. Just... Yeah. yeah. It was I was. I remember weird. sitting there. When, they, when we got to that thing with Sub-Zero, I was like... How the fuck are we gonna explain how Scorpion got here? And then he just appears. I'm like, oh, we're just not going to. I guess. <laughs> like, I mean, he does say like, I, I know. came he, out he of the gates. He says, I I came from he I've returned from hell to kill you. And he kind of offhandedly says, like, over these years, I've learned to control the hellfire. And it's yeah. like, and you know, I, I was sitting there thinking it would have been so cool if you had shown us that. Yeah, that <laughs> would have been much and it better. it was also was just like, fault. what, it was just a coincidence that they happened to be fighting Sub-Zero when Cole happens to be fighting Sub-Zero when Scorpion appears. Yeah, that was a bit. It was just... um, it, or maybe if they had said, like, I've come to protect my bloodline from you. Yeah. Yeah, or Anything something else? like, I won't let you take my family right. from me again. Mm -hmm. I don't know, dude. Something if you're going to have this fucking character here. No, you know, if you want, want to have this character here, what if you did this? What if he can talk to his his ancestor oh, in his dreams? And then that's why Scorpion shows up, because they have a bond. Like, there's something yeah. going on. 
going on there? What if like Scorpion was like teaching him how to fight in his dreams that. or something yeah, like that? Which has them connected and Anne it's Cho's like that stronger. would have been See, that would have been at least like if you're going to have a new character, I think that would have been an interesting yeah. thing to do with it. Yeah, his family was kind of useless. Their their only use is to when they're about to get killed. He unlocks his arcana, which is just a yeah. superpower. Yeah, we, so That's here true. they, the creators of this of this film. One thing I appreciate is they're not trying to make it super realistic. They yeah. know people want to see the freaky powers from yeah. the games, so they came up with a way to explain it. They said, "Okay, the champions of Mortal Kombat have this thing called arcana, which gives each of them a unique magical ability. Yeah. So, like, that's where Kano gets his laser eye yeah. from, even though it's a little silly. Like, in the games, he has a cybernetic eye, which explains it better, but whatever. It, it doesn't yeah. make a lot of sense for it to only come out of one eye, what's going on there, but I don't care, because I'm a fan, and I'm just like, yeah, cool, we got the laser eye. I'm happy to see it. Uh, with Jax, it's the robot arms because up until yeah. then Sub-Zero Sub if you've seen the trailer you know Sub-Zero destroys his arms and then he gets new ones made and they're just barely skeletal like it's Terminator arms. he's got like tiny little scrawny it's just yeah. nothing but then his arcana is to make them all butch and buff like yeah. in the games which is kind of a on. sucky arcana <laughs> he's like that's it what if they're he had arms would his arms just become robot arms <laughs> if he had arms uh, he would uh, he would just get a metal cigar in his I don't know I mean he's super Super strong though, right? Yeah, like his arm made him super He looked strong. happy to get him. He had this yeah. big smile on his face. So I was like, yeah, I'm happy for him. Yeah. yeah. You go, bro. Sonia gets her um her purple laser blast from oh, the game. Right. That's, that's what, what I was had. that's what she gets. Yeah. yeah. Really yeah, liked in, her. Too. In the games, it's like it's a gun thing that she uses, but in this it's like, oh, okay, yeah. so, I don't uh, know. I mean she should have had exploding heads. And this explains fine. Kung Lao and what's his name? And yeah. Liu Kang. Liu Kang, Kang gets his fire, fire fist and from Liu Kang it. Gets Kung, Kung Lao Lao's. gets his magical hat powers like Annie, the, Annie's teleportation. Yeah, but he teleports through the hat. Mm. That's where uh, okay. it comes. He, the way Kung Lao, did you notice in the movie, he throws the hat and then the hat lands on the floor and then phew, up it goes with him in it. Ooh, I didn't notice that I because um, the first time they showed him teleport, he just appeared. Yeah. So well, I forgot yeah, that's like, from the hat. Yeah, I, saw, I, I was looking for it because mm. I played the game. So like I, when I saw that, I was like, yes, you guys get it. You get what we want to see. So what's this new character doing? And then the new, yeah. character <laughs> gets, the new character's the new power character's is the most OP. He He's gets just so. Like a, it's fucking broken as shit. Okay, he goes from, uh, who's the forearm guy again? Goro. Yeah. yeah. So Goro's beating the shit out of him in front of his family. And then he unlocks his arcana from that, which I guess and that makes sense for a character. This, yeah. yeah, He because he wants to protect his family. So, so sure, the one good that's reason why the family's them. in the film. <laughs> and then the dog but is like, then, uppercut, Dad. Yeah, uppercut. <laughs> as Goro's wailing on him. Hey, do one single attack and win this fight immediately. I know <laughs> how to fight. I'm the daughter. Is this armor? <laughs> Can, made out of you can withstand all four fists of a sh yeah. of the Shokan champion. That's Goro's race, the Shokan. Nothing can ever beat this yeah. guy. He literally, all of a sudden, his his Arcana unlocks an armor that makes him basically indestructible. Yeah, and, this is a and then he gets weapons shield. too. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, he's like the so, shield hero, but less cool. This is this is the In thing there. I was <laughs> mad about. Goro is done so dirty. Film. Yeah, <laughs> that's because, who you're talking about. Yeah, I'm Goro in the games is yeah, he he's not he's a brute, fought. but he's not just a brute. He's right. the prince of his race and the oh. champion of Outworld. He's dignified, he's well spoken, he like knows he has all these tactics, and yeah, he loves to like kill people, yeah. but he also like you know, he talks and shit. They even did that in the original Mortal Kombat movie. They have scenes of him sitting down and talking with Kano and stuff. Mm. And oh, in this, and this movie, he's just a fucking wild animal. Well, I was gonna say he just seems like here's the it's here's the evil guy in a barn. I'm just no. it's killed by the main character with like little to no effort I was just like how dare you well I have a problem with all of you said the barn thing doesn't bug me be not because Goro fighting in a barn because yeah what bugged me about that was 
The only reason he unlocked his arcana was because he needed to protect his family. The only reason he needed to protect his family was because he couldn't unlock his arcana, so he left to the place where they were hiding. And the, and then, yeah, because he was there, Goro shows up. It's another dumb scene where like, Raiden what? tells him, oh, you're not fit for this fight. Go, go yeah. home. It's like, Raiden, you need every guy you can fucking get right now. I think he was trying like, to motivate maybe him because he knew it. I, I think Raiden knew but, Goro would show up. But Raiden's, Raiden's another... What Raiden, Raiden's oh, yeah. behavior in this like film doesn't or... make sense. I don't know what's going on with that. That's something i probably should have mentioned in spoil in before yeah. spoiler but i'm gonna talk about it here but yeah another thing about goro is goro is because he's the champion people have to earn the chance to fight him yeah. in the games that's a big thing like i remember in mk9 he actually puts it very well like sometimes you earth Realmers surprise me you actually earn the right to fight against a shokan mm -hmm. and like in this they literally send him like a dog to go kill Cole. Cole's not even in the fight anymore. Why yeah. are you even doing that? Yeah. It's stupid. And it's it's another, it's an insert of his family where they, and then his family gets inserted again because Sub-Zero captures them. It's like, they're why did Sub-Zero do that? that? They were already going to fight you. You didn't need to. And then they're sitting there in the ice for like 20 fucking minutes. Sub-Zero's ice, which can kill Scorpion's wife and child in five fucking seconds. Why was yeah. he leaving them alive? Honestly. What was going on there? They didn't need to be there. To there was no reason there, so that he can go punch the ice while scorpion fights oh my with god him. yeah that was so dumb it's all he did yeah. at the end was go to the ice it's i so still like long. the movie but there are problems yeah there are problems. and that's why i said it has potential this is what brought yeah. it down to a seven for me their treatment of goro pissed me off speaking <laughs> of goro yeah <laughs> he, they basically pulled a what's her name with the veil you know they like uh, took out Malena, all her persona yeah. his personality yeah, exactly. and who he was completely and, stripped yeah. of his character yeah and from my perspective as an automortal combat person i thought yeah he was just like here's this broody beast number five from some exactly. random planet like if you're it's... not a mortal combat fan you're just going like oh that's just some monster yeah like he's got after. cool arms it's not great they even, they even say like the director knows who it is because in his yeah. first appearance they say oh we are honored with the prince of the shokan so you know that's the prince of the shokan why don't you treat him like the prince of the shokan why would he fight this random guy you he know, just huh? gave up the competition exactly why ask... don't you send fucking melina after him let, i don't let know let me ask you a quick question in the mortal Kombat games how often do you actually spend time with um What's his name again? The Shokan Prince? Uh, Goro. Goro. How often do you spend time with him? Uh, it depends on the game. Um, MK9 has... Is, like, it, there's not that much time you spend with him, but in the times you spend with him, yeah, like... There are times where he's dignified, and there's times where he loses his shit and gets yeah. mad. Like, which is, but he only loses his shit be, around Liu Kang because Liu Kang beat him in the tournament, and mm. he's like furious that he actually got beaten. <laughs> um, what about uh, how um, many times in the games do you is he more brutish? Than um, well, while you're fighting him, he's brutish. That's the idea. But when he enters the ring, he enters it with like confidence and everything like that. And also in the old MK nine movie like goro actually like there's a i don't remember exactly how it goes but i remember kano just sitting down and being like an ass and then goro oh like basically calling him out and saying you you don't know you don't understand anything do you <laughs> like, um <laughs> then probably here's just my possibility of the director he's a fan but he's probably not a, fa a fan of like the true lore of the game, and he just remembers more the fighting part of the mm, game. Maybe, but there's because he does that right. The thing mostly. is, there are other characters that are kind of brutish that you could have used. But another character can, that gets completely turned into a brute is General Reiko. <laughs> yeah, the guy with the hammer. I don't care about him as much though. He's mm -hmm. not as important. The guy with the hammer, you remember? He, he's not important. Jack right. smashes his head. Um, yeah, you don't remember um, him. I don't blame you. I remember you. that scene. So the characters the who I was surprised to see, I was surprised to see Nitara, the woman with the wings. wings yeah, oh, uh, yeah. Cabal, very Same. surprised to see him. Um, I'm surprised they didn't show in the trailers he was in it because he's a big fan favorite. Um, maybe that's why. Yeah, yeah maybe. And uh, General Reiko. General Reiko doesn't say anything in this film. He just goes, ah, ah. <laughs> that's, that those sucks. are his lines. Yeah, I will say... <laughs> For me, it kind of felt like what uh, the you know the god who summons everyone, Raiden. Raiden. Raiden, that that casting choice was kind of blah. Like he didn't have a lot to do. Yeah, he didn't feel powerful, and he didn't and act writing. powerful either. I don't think yeah, it was. was just I don't there. think it was the actor. I, I think it was the writing. I don't. Yeah, I don't blame well, the actor. It was actor the wrong entirely, casting but... choice. Maybe, also, it's hard to compete true. with yeah. the actor who plays him in the games. He has such a booming mm. voice. 
voice. Um, but it just seemed yeah, like... Yeah, he's like, I am Raiden. Yeah, he, this was just like, here's, I'm the dude, and I'm, I'm going to yeah, talk he was just about like, things. I am Raiden. Yeah. You will listen to me. Goodbye. Yeah. But he's also kind of a dick. In yeah, the that's movie. the other thing. You are not good enough. Whereas he's in the like, games, he's more like, like, you don't even have a mark. What are you? This is what I got to work with. And it's like, that's not That's Raiden. not helpful. That's not Raiden. Yeah. Raiden doesn't behave that way. Yeah, well, Ra- well, Raiden believes. Like, this is weird. In, in the games, weird. Raiden, like, he believes in it. He is the only person who doesn't hate Johnny Cage in the game. Like, I remember Luke King's yeah. like, really? Him? And then Raiden goes, he's a hero. He just doesn't realize. So, yeah, right. that's the kind of guy Raiden is. Would do you get that from this Raiden? No, this Raiden's a dick and kind of an idiot. Yeah, he just shows <laughs> like, up at the end, like, oh, here I am. There's, there's again with the. You remember Blood of Zeus? He can't interfere. That's yeah, yeah, the yeah. same logic. Yeah. He can't interfere no except reason. when it, it, it's totally fine. And in the games, then there is later a after like mm-hmm. they're attacked multiple times at their temple. One of them even gets killed. Raiden teleports them, and it's like, where are we? We're in the space between. They can't hurt us here. Why didn't you bring them there earlier? I guess so they can what train. The Maybe they couldn't fight Why there. I don't know. They what didn't are say. You? <laughs> I know. They can't hurt Idiots. me. There. I didn't think they'd attack, <laughs> so like I didn't think to put them. Where the hell was he me. during the attack on the temple? Yeah. What was he saying. doing? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, he was busy rubbing his feet against the carpet. He was busy he playing the interfere. games, you know, yeah. having actual fun. He can't interfere. Yeah, he, he can't interfere. Um, yeah, they say that he can't interfere, and in, you know, the there is so much screw the rules in this movie. Mm-hmm. Like the villains don't even try to they just go after all the heroes. And keep attacking them. Uh, oh, uh, reptiles in the film, as we said. They, yeah, that was fun. They make him more um, more of his reptilian version than his ninja version, which... Yeah. All right. You know what I would like? I would like if that wasn't reptile himself. It could have just been one of his race, because mm. there's a whole race of mm. him. And they could use the more ninja-ish version in a sequel. I, I would like that. So different version, reptile version? Yeah, there's, oh, a, cause rept- there's a whole race of reptiles in the games. In some versions, he's the so last of his... Characters. Kind. They're called the yeah. raptors, okay. I think. Um, well... Um, the character's name is Reptile, oh, okay. but, but his... that he's not the only one who's like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's he's yeah. one of he's one, one of many. One. Yeah. He's like the champion of his race, like Goro basically. is. Right. Yeah. What I was gonna bring up too was, and I think Andrew, you had a problem with this, was like they didn't actually have like a Mortal Kombat fight. Yeah, exactly. Like arena that scene was my biggest problem with the film. It's not a tournament movie, even though they, they say it's going they, to be. They get to when we actually get the tournament in this it is such an underwhelming way to do it yeah it's just so and it felt rushed also it did like, yeah it did feel yeah. rushed. It felt very rushed it felt like I, oh shit we're out of time go 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 oh, we got to, too long we have when to we got to that i thought that wasn't even the tournament i thought they were saving the actual mortal Kombat for a sequel film yeah, but, but then, it turns out that was it. But that was supposed to be it. Yeah, and like even yeah. like we were sitting there hoping like maybe they'll do it in the sequel. And then Shang Tsung goes, "When I come here next, I will not mm. bring warriors. I will bring armies." I'm like, "Shut up, bring warriors!" I'm yeah. So now we're Please? definitely not getting a tournament. Please. The next time it seems. <laughs> yeah, it, that was really. It, oh god. That, that is the like biggest that. weakness of the film. Yeah. Overall, is that it doesn't end with a Mortal Kombat tournament where you have two guys face off, one wins, one lose, one side wins, one side loses. Another thing. It's just, yeah. If that's supposed to be the tournament, there's more problems because, like, so, um, saddest death in the movie, Kano. Oh, no, my yeah, Kano, Kano, my beloved Kano. <laughs> um, I mean, he did betray them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, but I didn't, but even though, character. like, I knew he, he had funny. to, like, part of me was like, please don't. And I love you that, so much. Her You're so entertaining. Him. Yeah. Yeah. The way she, that she he kills gets him. stabbed in the eye with a gnome. Because he, <laughs> because he or spat, spat on it earlier, earlier in the film. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. funny. Yeah. But I know it was like, yeah. okay, you're going to get rid of the comic relief. Yeah. Um, but it was like, towards the end. After, after Sonya kills Kano, she just jumps into, uh, whose fight was it? Who fought, who was fighting Melina at um. the time? Is it what the guy with I arms? think it was No. No, it couldn't have been Jax. Jax was fighting Reiko. Oh, was it the fire Liu guy? Kang was fighting Cabal. Who the hell was fighting Melina? Fire guy. And it must have been Cole. Or I who? don't remember. I don't know. Well, maybe? whoever it oh, was, maybe you're right. Melina maybe it was, was Cole. A, I remember Melina was about to attack someone and then Sonya just jumps into somebody else's fight and shoots Melina with her power. 
Yeah, because she was done and with fighting Kano. So I guess also, earlier in the film, Melina was an idiot. She could have killed Sonya, but she tasted her blood. Oh, wait, you're not one of the champions. There's no reason to kill you. <laughs> you yeah, dumbass, then later that woman's going to kill her. I hate it when villains do that. It's such a fucking MacGuffin. Yeah, Melina would have just killed her. <laughs> yeah. The actual Melina would have killed her yeah. for the fun of it. Melina does not go, oh, there's no honor in this. Melina doesn't give a fuck. Fuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Goro would, ironically. Yeah. Goro might, yeah, I could see see how wrong they got and the And then character. Goro picks the guy who just left, or fights the guy who just, it's you like, know, left. Oh, like, wait, oh. The, the guy who's not in the tournament anymore and it has Actually, and hasn't won a fight all movie? I'd be happy to fight him. Here, here's <laughs> like, my one, ex uh, my one <laughs> uh, uh, forgiveness that I'm going to get to that is, even though he isn't good enough to fight and he has quit, he doesn't get to choose to be in the tournament. I know, he is that's chosen, weird. You know, the only way is, I would have forgiven that Goro shit, it, oh, like, well, not all of it, but the reason he's fighting him. What if Shang Tsung had said, Goro, we need you to attack this champion. Is like, that champion has not earned the right to fight me. He says, that champion is the blood of the Shirai Ryu. Uh, and then Goro would say, oh... Well, in that case, Doesn't that would like, require I could him see to have that. lines and some character description. Like, yeah, I don't. <laughs> that I, can't I, happen. Here's the thing: I'm sure he had a line in the film, but I can't remember what it was. Honestly, <laughs> bes uh, besides a bunch of Kano's lines, most of the lines are pretty forgettable in this Except film. Except for flawless victory. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Kung <laughs> Lao uses his fatality, and it's beautiful. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> his fatality is when he throws the hat on the floor, and it and spins, it spins like, a like a buzz saw. <laughs> like, oh, you mean with what? her name yeah, with the, with the yeah. Wing wing. And he cuts. yeah that was the most brutal that was kill. lovely i i can't believe that, that was that was, that was 100 percent for they, the fans they also have yeah. kano's fatality from the first game where he reaches in yeah. and pulls the heart out kano of wins uh, well, that's yeah. a fucking beauty yeah. Isn't it? yeah and they've got Liu kang's original fa in Liu kang's original fatality he it's turns just, into a dragon but in this they had him create a dragon from which fire because that makes more sense yeah I'm fine with they that. had to ground a little yeah. more reality a bit for the there's movie. also kind of a weird uh plot thing Thing where Cabal is, mm -hmm. I remember he's talking to Shang Tsung. He's like, "Oh, they've got some asshole named named Kano on on Earth. He's the reason I'm like this. It's like I, you know, it's it feels like I hate him and I want revenge. But then he goes to Kano. And he's like, Kano, join our team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He like he doesn't even try to kill Kano. He's just like, do it. You know, come on, we'll pay you more. You He's know? like, okay. join the team, man. Join the team. Wouldn't yeah. bro, buddy. I wouldn't want Kano. <laughs> yeah. I would want to kill Kano <laughs> so yeah, if, bad. If he to, would I, fucked up his uh, whole body, yeah. To be fair, it's like, I guess they need, if Kano didn't turn on them, they wouldn't have been able to get into the tunnel. Yeah, but if I was that guy, what I would have done is I would have said, like, we can pay you double. And then the moment he lets us in, I would have killed him. Or at least yeah. tried to. Yeah, at yeah. least tried to. They but nope, playing. they're just like, well, we're buddies yeah. now. They've also got this da, system da, 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 da. in the movie where the Mortal Kombat champions have these marks because they were chosen by fate, I guess. Ooh. Or it's inherited. Or you can get it by killing the person who had one. That one that's, I like. I like the that. other two. That's okay. Yeah. Like, you know what I, th I think would have been better? instead. You shouldn't have to kill the person. You should just be able to defeat them Beat in them. battle. Then one thing Raiden could have done is he could have hosted, like, you know, all everyone come and... And everyone who wants to fight in the tournament can, like, challenge or something. I think... Because if Fate is choosing these champions, one thing that's weird is Liu Kang was sent to kill, like, a slave trader who had a mark. It's like, did that guy get chosen? <laughs> this slave trader? Yeah, that's I, weird. I don't know. You know what I think it should have been? It should have been, like... You uh in life you prove yourself by being so good at fighting and that's how you get the mark. You know, and honestly, that's you how Raiden some... picked people in the original story. Yeah, yeah what <laughs> like, a concept. Yeah, yeah. I would have liked it better if Raiden just picked people and then he gave them the marks. And it would have been it would have yeah. made so much more sense. It would also make um the Cole's character so much more interesting instead of him just being he was born chosen. They show him actually being a really good fighter, yeah. but then he gets injured or something and he yeah. can't fight as well anymore. Yeah, yeah. And Raiden's like, you still have promise within you. Yeah. Like that way it and also, he gets his, you know, that, that fixes two characters. That makes so much, Raiden believe exactly. in people more and it makes Cole interesting. Yeah, it could, you could have done so sort much with that. You could have had Cole having doubts. <laughs> Maybe Cole finds out early on that he's related to Scorpion Maybe. and he, he thinks that's the only reason he got picked. And then later on, he's like, I know why you picked me. You picked me because like, and Raiden's like, that's not why I picked you. And then you could just have Raiden walk away after yeah, that. That, that could have been an interesting moment. There's so much mm, there better just things like a few we can tweets. come up with in less than an hour. <laughs> like, and she doesn't even play the games yeah, at all. Yeah, even I'm like, this is frustrating. They could have done like better here. But overall, we still like the film. It was still fun. Yeah, it was um, much better than a lot of 
some other action waste movies, of seen. goro um they were trying yeah. to make cabal funny like kano also uh, the speed um, guy yeah the speed i love that they gave him his speed and his powers and everything they were trying to make him funny like kano and he was very hit or miss i thought sometimes yeah. he was trying to be funny i was just like stop it but there were other times where i was like eh, okay <laughs> like yeah but well, nobody... unlike kano who was just hit 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 yeah. constantly i don't know who that actor was but he was great yeah the fuck? <laughs> good, honestly good for him give that guy more work and put him in the sequel i don't care bring him back to life give him the actual cybernetic eye to bring him back that's perfect so there do it i don't cool. care how you do it do it <laughs> like, that would yeah. be amazing because then it's like you got johnny no, cajun Andrew, they, have you got... To, yeah. they have to do mortal Kombat 10 time travel that's 11, and fuck you. <laughs> Wasn't it in 10, too? No. Oh, no, they were, it was just Those later. Were flashbacks. Yeah, that's stuff. why my brain... Yeah. Thought. You're okay, embarrassing fine. yourself? Mortal Stop. Kombat 11, time travel. We do not do anything Mortal Kombat 11 did. Stop it. <laughs> that doesn't exist. I don't know what it Game was, but it doesn't exist based on his reaction. Me mad? <laughs> you, know what, you know what character we have to have? We have to have the most important, most essential, the most powerful, the most uh, wealthy, the greatest character of all time. Mocap. I knew you were going to say mocap. <laughs> I actually want mocap. Mocap is literally a guy in a motion capture suit. What? That's a Mortal that's Kombat whole, character. That's whole thing. Like somebody Wait, was whoa, like, whoa, whoa. "What was the process for this? Hey, we should put Eduardo in the game." <laughs> Wait, but you can still see the person. His, his, yeah, like his, no, in he's this, in a stupid no, outfit. No, 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 in the Lord, funny, he is a motion capture it, person in, for video game characters. For, he's, he's, he's yeah. Johnny Cage's motion capture actor for like uh, a video game adaption of Johnny how, Cage. Is he just oh so he does like fight? I think it, I think it's an intentional joke it? character. Yeah, he's yeah. a joke. They have a lot of joke characters in the Mortal Kombat. They literally named him MoCap. So, Nobody is named MoCap. Okay. It's basically <laughs> imagine if you know you know how Andy Serkis did the MoCap motion capture yeah. for uh, Caesar. Mm -hmm. um, imagine Gollum. if you had a guy who was doing the motion capture for a video game character. That's him. But he's just fighting as himself in the suit in the. In this Mortal is Kombat. Mocap. I'll well, put it. I'll put amazing. it on the screen. <laughs> yeah, or put it on here. the screen. That is so. Yeah. But but the, the the guy the character would be good at fighting though because he does fight sequences in the game. Yeah. That he does the game the video games that he's does okay well, that's something but it's like why is he in the suit <laughs> because he, anyway that's his I'm whole sorry thing. yeah it's not it's well, like the reason why some of the costumes for Johnny uh, Cage are his costumes from his movies like Ninja <laughs> Mime or Time Wait, Smash. Wait, does he wear them? In a... Not in the story. There, there, but, uh, there are some games where you can unlock those as costumes. That's cute. They're pretty great. Like, you can get the Ninja Mime costume. And I might have next. seen that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put up the characters on the side here every time we yeah. talk about them. I that's think a that's good a good idea. But, um, I'm in the hopeful... game or in the movie? Yes. Or both. I, yes. I hope the director will listen to feedback and like this improve. feedback in particular. Yeah, watch we this have the video. best review ever. And look, we're not asking for much in return. I'm only asking you to bring me in as a head writer on the next yeah, movie. I'm asking. I'm asking for five million dollars. I just to make a new movie. I just <laughs> want more subs on my YouTube channel. I mean, it's <laughs> it's not that's that all. hard to write these stories. They're already written in the game. They actually are already written. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Where was the tournament in this film? That was my biggest problem. Yeah, that the was film. the that's the, yeah. the, the biggest, biggest problem. problem is the lack of tournament. The second biggest, in my opinion, is the lack of Scorpion. I wouldn't say the lack of Scorpion, the, the misuse I, of Scorpion. I, I mean, like, I know what you it, mean. Like, since they were trying to insert him at the end, the fact that they didn't have more of him throughout the film made it. Yeah, like, that's not what I really mean. Work. Yeah, I just can't imagine. Like, what was that like for you as someone who's not even a fan? Did you even know Scorpion was coming? No. Yeah. So I was how like, did that oh. feel to just see that out of nowhere? Well, I mean, I thought it was cool because I was like, I like this character. Cool, he's back. But again, I was just like. What, what the fuck you here? Exactly. Bro? Yeah. What? Oh, You're... also, that's another. That's two fighting one in a tournament thing. Is this allowed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 again, yeah, yeah. it wasn't even technically a tournament. It was just them, them fighting. Because first they break the rules, the bad guys, and come and fight before, and then the other side decides, fuck it too. We're just gonna have to do it before also, the tournament never... date. So it's like Who the rules was, don't matter. So was Sub Zero the champion in this version? Because um, usually the way it works is Shang Tsung. And Goro are the champions mm. of Shao Kahn. Like what you have to the way the tournament is structured is yeah, Earthrealm versus Outworld's warriors, fight, fight, fight. If one if an Earthrealmer can beat all of Outworld's warriors, then they have to fight Goro. 
And if they beat Goro, they fight Shang Tsung. They beat him, it's a win. They yeah. did that in the um they did that in the original film. Um That's good. Uh, they did that in the games. They did that even in the MK9 <laughs> remake. They did it very well. Uh, there's this animated movie called Mortal Kombat um, Legacy Sub Scorpion where they make Goro the champion, but there's no fight with Shang Tsung. So they almost did it there. Mm. Um, so yeah, I, I guess we don't necessarily require a fight with Shang Tsung, even though it would be cool. But at least make Goro the champion. Like, you know, if you really wanted desperately to have this main character be a thing, and we all know you also wanted Scorpion to fight Sub Zero, yeah. you know, why don't you have the main character like build his way up? Like, let's see him fight. Let's see him be a badass. Then wh why don't you have like it come down to like he's the only one left in the tournament the others yeah, have been I, eliminated yeah. and it's like you have to defeat sub-zero and goro because these are the fighters we have left and he's like i don't know if i can defeat both of them in a row and then scorpion can show up and be like i'll take him you take it would be better <laughs> i you know honestly we could go on for longer than we already have okay. and you can see the time stamp of this movie uh, review. this review yeah. it's already pretty long and we could just keep going and going yeah there's cause... there's so much to say but like i think we've said the essential yeah things. we liked like, it but there were problems we're, we're at a seven she's at a six i totally get why um, i'm actually and... brought down to a six it's honestly like hey how much of a compliment is it that the diehard fan still gives it a seven <laughs> like, yeah well we still think it's good it's yeah, just it's it just, could be it's better because i did have so much fun during the action and yeah, the, the comedy. action is so i'm honestly the that's action what brings it up to good for me the action and comedy alone bring it to a five but i cannot mm. i cannot call this movie great i can say it has great moments I beginning was great yeah <laughs> i i think it would actually act if I think that if we saw it in theaters, we might have liked it a little more. I think that if you have the op option, you should see it in theaters if it's safe and based on what your you... preferences for during mm -hmm. this time. But mm -hmm. I just wish we only, we watched on HBO, and it would have been cooler to see the action sequences on a big screen. I yeah, think. if <sighs> this movie is fun, but it doesn't tell the story yeah. nearly as well as other sources do. The older movie tells the story a lot better, honestly. If you want the perfect telling of the Mortal Kombat story, play Mortal Kombat 9. That's a 10 mm. out of 10 game, in my opinion. It is the greatest Mortal Kombat game, in Maybe my opinion. Maybe you guys could play it's sometime fantastic. on the Twitch stream. Yeah, we probably could. That'd be... It's still myth-related. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. I mean, we got the PS3 here. I could bring yeah. it over. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I guess until next time, I hope you guys stay safe, stay smart, stay healthy, and... Get out of here! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey everyone, thanks for watching our review of the recent Mortal Kombat movie. If you would like to watch more videos, click that like button and subscribe. It would really help the channel out. If you have any thoughts or opinions about the film, comment down below. Or join the Discord where we talk about all things mythology. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Scorpion crossover. hits Godzilla with his spear and says, get over here. But then when he pulls, he realizes Godzilla's too big.